and welcome back to your most amazing top 10. Today I am hitting you with the top 10 highest paid YouTubers in the world 2017 update. The figures are in from 2016, but we really want to speculate as to who is going to be topping this list for this year. So we're going to be looking at who is rising according to Social Blade. We're also going to be looking at who raked it in with sponsorship last year, who will be likely to replicate their success this year. So. I'm Rebecca Felgate and let's get going. Starting off with someone who was high up there last year but is slipping just a little bit this year, coming in at number 10 we have Tyler Oakley. Tyler works with a lot of brands and most recently has subsidised his YouTube income with a huge deal with The Ellen Show. That's right, Tyler had his own spot on Ellen Tube, although he hasn't uploaded for The Ellen Show in 2017 so we don't know whether or not the $6 million that he made last year can be replicated this year. Tyler's own YouTube channel has 8 million subscribers and is part of the old school glitterati of YouTube. Tyler's channel actually seems to be losing subscribers at the moment and he's not getting as many views as he used to, with Social Blade estimating he makes just 168,000 a year. He was in the top 10 last year, so I can only assume that he has other revenue streams worked out. Also slipping a little bit since 2016, coming in at number 9 we have Lily Singh. She was actually in the top 5 last year, she really smashed it, taking in 7.5 million dollars although Social Blade estimates only a top end earnings of 2.9 million. Last year she seemed to gain quite a lot of money from her tour, A Trip to Unicorn Island and her YouTube Red documentary. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to knock this year out of the park like she did last year, but I'm sure she won't slip from the top 10 YouTube highest earners. Lily has 11 million subscribers and rising. Coming in at number 8 we have Winderson Nunes. Social Blade estimates that Brazilian YouTuber Winderson Nunes rakes in up to 4.9 million dollars a year, although as with the rest of this list I would say that nobody ever quite earns Social Blade's top estimate. Winderson is relatively unknown in English speaking parts of YouTube but is absolutely killing it in Brazil. He has 18 million subscribers and is growing really really fast, earning him a solid place on this list. He hit 10 million subscribers in July 2016 and he's already grown by a further 8 8 million in under 12 months. By the way, he's 22 and married, which to me is crazy. Coming in at number 7, we have Hola Soy German. German Gamandia, known as Hola Soy German, is the prince of YouTube with over 31 million subscribers. Although he still trails behind King of the Internet PewDiePie, he is still pretty much unstoppable. German is Chilean and appeals to loads of Spanish speaking viewers. Last year, Business Insider suggested that the YouTuber made $5.5 million. So Social Blade estimates over 16 million dollars worth of revenue for this year. This is across both of his channels, Jenga German and again Hola Soy German. Jenga German is actually outperforming his main channel at the moment, so who knows what's going on. Coming in at number six, we have El Rubius OMG. El Rubius OMG, real name Ruben Gunderson, is a Spanish YouTuber who is growing at the speed of absolute light. Social Blade estimates that he could be earning up to 6.6 .6 million dollars a year and gets between three to 7 million views a day. He's absolutely killing it with over 20 million subscribers. Ruben initially found success with reaction videos and now he plays games, he vlogs and he posts challenges videos. From his channel's creation in 2011, Ruben has gained over 5 billion views. Honey is on the rise. Coming in at number 5 we have Vegeta777. This dude is rising at an unstoppable rate. Vegeta is Samuel De Luca. Samuel is a 28 year old Spanish gamer and he has a lot of Spanish and Latin American fans with over 17 million subscribers. According to Social Blade, he makes up to 8.7 million dollars a year on the video platform. Right now he is consistently smashing it with over 5 million views a day. In total he has 6.5 billion views on his channel. I tried to translate his Instagram bio to shed some more light on this guy, but it turns out it actually says, when you see a unicorn in the sky let me know, let's go out together from the asylum to look for it and be happy. So honestly, who knows what this guy's about. Coming in at number 4 we have an absolute classic, it's Smosh. In 2016, Smosh duo Anthony Padilla and Ian Hecox pulled in 7 million dollars between them. These guys are 
regularly featured in the top 10 highest YouTube earners. Although the pair gain a top end estimate of 3.9 million from their main channel, they have a whole network of channels including Smosh Gaming, loads of Smosh individual channels and of course translation Smosh channels. This all helps them pull in the big bucks as a cumulative. Smosh on their own have 22 million subscribers and fun fact some trivia for you, they were amongst the first Ubers to get wax statues at Madame Tussauds. Coming in at number 3 we have Markiplier. Mark Fishback, known as Markiplier, is one of the most popular and most viewed YouTubers in the world. Closing in on 20 million subscribers, Mark gains around 7 million views a day. Social Blade puts his top end estimation of revenue at $11.5 million. According to Business Insider, he made $5.5 million last year, so again, with Social Blade, this could be a bit of an overestimation. By all means, he looks set to smash last year's record. Mark first started his channel in 2012 and regularly gives to charity. So far, he has raised over a million dollars for charitable causes. Coming in at number two, we have Roman Atwood. Last year, Roman Atwood made $8 million. If he did it before, who's to say that he can't do it again? Roman makes money through merch at his Smile More store and has a book coming out just in time for Christmas this year. It's called Will Work for Smiles and will be released in December 2017. This looks to give him a pretty good boost to his end of year paycheck. Of course, all of that is on top of the top end Social Blade estimation of $8 million, so whoa. Finally, coming in at number one, bow down to the king of the internet, we have PewDiePie. Despite some pretty bad press and the cancellation of his show on YouTube Red, Felix Shelberg reigns strong as the king of YouTube. Bow down. Most subscribed to and most watched, last year he raked in $15 million, although, being that he has lost some sponsorship, he could make a touch less this year. He earns a basic of up to $6.9 million from his YouTube videos and the rest he gets from brand deals and book sales. It's unknown whether he will make any more money from his YouTube Red series this year or not. So guys, that was the top 10 highest earning YouTube celebrities of 2017. We actually had some new people coming into this list, which is really reassuring if you're just starting out with YouTube. I guess we'll make another one of these next year. I hope that my estimations are spot on. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend and stay subscribed to most amazing top 10 for more lists coming at you every day. Also, let me know who your favorite YouTuber is in the comments section below. See you next time.